Escuchas Upra Web Radio, tu estación universitaria. La Universidad de Puerto Rico en Arecibo ni esta emisora se solidariza necesariamente con las expresiones vertidas en el próximo programa. You're listening to What's on the Net on Upra Web Radio. You are listening to What's on the Net. This is Elaine Vela speaking. And Amanda. And to start our program, we are going to be talking about three to four TikTok trends. And the first one is called Day in My Life. And I think this is an interesting one because users are sharing with others what a day in their life can look like. I like those and I like the fact that some people will like to do their food, their diet, and how it's kind of like changing every day and it kind of lets you see that not everyone is perfect, not everyone dresses the same every day, not everyone eats the same every yeah. day. And it's great. I also hate the ones that are like pretentious people and they're like... Yeah, showing their wealth off. Yeah, they're just showing it off. There's, I saw this one that was actually really sad. It was this girl and she was really rich and she showed you the day in her life but it was really sad because she was like alone the whole time with no one and she would go to the mall and buy stuff and then she would go back to her apartment and, to continue being alone yeah and she went to a hotel in front of her apartment because she didn't want to be at her house so she just left for a little bit it was really sad yeah it, it really shows how everyone is different and we may not know what everyone's going through like it really shows that you can have everything or nothing and that doesn't necessarily define your happiness yeah so you can check day in my life and we are also talking about halloween at home and people are showing tiktok how they prepare for this halloween by getting decorations up baking creating or buying costumes and anything in between i really enjoy that because it's showing that you don't actually have to go out on halloween to have a good time you can just be at home at peace yeah vibing, vibing and just doing your own thing and you don't necessarily have to do the stereotypical thing yeah and be like all oh, these extravagant dresses and stuff in order to have fun you don't even have to dress up you really don't you can just take the makeup that you have home and do something or not even do that just buy them watch a movie As long as you're in the spirit, having that's what fun yeah. and being safe. It's better to be safe than be sorry. sorry. Yeah. And our other trend, Amanda can speak about it more, which is called the drip. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for dripping. Drip is Depends what I do. do. And one of these days, I'm gonna get dressed and drip all over mm -hmm. you. The first time I saw it, it was this girl, and she had like outfits that weren't good. Not that they were good, they were her style, and it was very unique. <laughs> okay, I don't want to bash her, but it, it was like different from like things that everyone wears every day, and everyone started making fun of her because she had that song in the background. It was just showing a bunch of her outfits, because the trend is just that people showing their outfits, and they had that song in the background, basically saying that they dress really good. So people are judging other people for their looks and not their looks but how they dress and there's also people that are, have like socially nice outfits that are yeah, also showing it all them depends up. it all depends but it started as kind of a joke because i also saw this one girl doing it and it was some of her old outfits that she would wear yeah and she was making fun of it because she was basically saying that she doesn't like that dressing like that anymore and that she thinks that she dressed funny Yeah. And then like you scroll through her, her Yeah, it's how when you look at pictures or old videos of yourself and you you're just like in shock in a way of how you used to act or what you used to wear your makeup like, which is a trend that that happens sometimes in YouTube where makeup gurus are recreating their old looks for the last like that, but with clothes. With yeah. Yeah. And our last TikTok trend is a serious one, and I'm glad people are talking about it. 
and it's the Breast Cancer Awareness. And they're using the 60 seconds or so that you have on TikTok to remind people to check themselves and to take care of their bodies. They also share tips and signs to look out for and what to do in case you think you may have breast cancer. And they also encourage users to not be scared to make sure with a medical professional, which I think is really great because we do talk about breast cancer awareness, but a lot of people are scared of what they might find if they look for it that they don't. Yeah, but it's it's essential to every year get checked. Yeah, to check yourself every couple of months or something and also know that it's not only in the breast area it's also in the armpits it's also in how you feel your day to day there there's different signs of having it it's not just one and you really need to be careful and really look out for it because if it's treated at the right time you can be healthy really fast and you can continue living your life living your life how you want how you want It's really important for you to get it checked and have it checked as soon as possible. Yeah, so please do, I know it can be scary, but do take care of yourself. And if you don't want to go to the doctor alone, you might bring a friend or someone that you trust wholeheartedly. I had a scare uh, like a couple, I think it was two years ago. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe. I had a scare and I had to go and I was really scared because I didn't want the doctor to see me. I was like, I don't want him to see my boobies. <laughs> so um, I was really scared, but it ended up being nothing. And I'm happy that I went because I couldn't keep on living, like, not knowing. Not knowing. Because it's scary. It's like a really serious issue. So you need to get tested, you need to get checked. Yes, please do so. And talking about Twitter moments, I think this first one is Amanda's and I favorite at the moment. And it is the Rihanna Savage X Fenty Volume 2 Fashion Show. Speechless. Iconic. Iconic. It's one of the best things that has happened this year. Very beautiful, very artistic. 10 out of 10, beautiful, brilliant, amazing, show-stopping. A masterpiece. A masterpiece. We'll watch it again, probably. I mean, I've seen it two times already. <laughs> I'm probably, um, I saw some, uh, um, a new update. Yeah. I have a section that it, it's like a square, and I just put my favorite person, artist of the month there. And I put Jesse from the neighborhood. And like the day after it, I saw the pictures of Rihanna and in the show, and I was like, "No, I need to change it." She looks so beautiful. And everyone it looks sense. amazing. Yeah, everyone looks amazing. The inclusivity and representations are off the, the charts. charts. Amazing. Yeah, like you definitely see a bit of everything. And Actually, everything. Yeah, from skin color to, to body, type, body type to height height everything male and female yeah and i really love that and the sets and everything how they shape them the way they use them the creativity everything looked amazing is very different from the volume one and that's not a bad thing at all so if you love performances if you love fashion shows or lingerie or just you know seeing the different types of art that people are creating i definitely recommend you that check it out that fashion show really used every type of art in one Yes, from we stand. creativeness and fashion to music to the sets, the colors, everything looked amazing. Yes, it was great. And another Twitter moment is Anne Hathaway's look for the posters of the adaptation of The Witches for HBO. She looks I saw it. stunning. She looks stunning. And it looks so much like the original. The original. I was in shock. I was, I really 
it, it was it looks amazing i'm so ready for it yeah i cannot wait to see this in action but now talking about what's new on social media pinterest is providing cultural context on Halloween costumes, which I think is amazing on their part. And they are doing this as a way to highlight the cultural significance of certain costumes in order to help users avoid misusing common themes and ideas. That's one of the best upgrades that they could do. Yeah, definitely, because a lot of people sometimes think, well, maybe this is okay for me to wear, or but you're disrespecting a culture wow. without knowing it. So I think that Pinterest doing this is great. And a quote that they have said is that costumes are consistently a top search term, but many people may not know that certain costumes are appropriations of other cultures. And as a platform for positivity, we want to make it easy to find culturally appropriate Halloween ideas and bring awareness to the fact that costumes should not be opportunities to turn a person's identity into a stereotyped image. And I really love that. I really love that. Because last year, one of the biggest ones, after like on my blog and everything yeah. came out, it was the Cholo outfit. Mm -hmm. And that's cultural appropriation. As and rude and rude and no don't don't do that don't Just be that research person. research your, what you're gonna wear and what you're gonna do before yeah be, be conscious care. yeah be conscious and don't do anything that will hurt other people on other news we have that twitter has decided to reiterate the rules against wishing harm on others due to the massive anti-Trump tweets that has floated the platform. I saw a tweet about this yesterday that I agree with a lot and is that Twitter is doing that now because it's Trump but where were they when trans people were getting bashed and they're still getting bashed and they're still getting hate comments and stuff which is they're like we spread positivity and we try our best to help but in that sense there's a lot of people that are still getting hateful getting comments. hateful comments, getting death threats and all that, and they're doing nothing about it. I don't know. It's kind of like it's a kind double of 50, standard. 50-50. Yeah. It depends on who it is. I really hope that Twitter can get a better handle on these things because honestly, wishing harm on people just for who they are is not, it's not great. It's not great. So I think, I mean, it's, I get it because social media is massive, but we can't can't really try. Go, we can't really go person by person. So if you see a negative tweet, please don't hesitate and report it because, you know, we cannot just stand by like and watch. Yeah, be part of the change you want to see. And when we get back, because we're going to be taking our break, we're going to be talking about streaming platforms, so stay tuned. ¿Estás buscando una universidad en la cual salgas bien capacitado y directo al mundo laboral? Te recomiendo la UPR en Arecibo. Ofrece asociado y bachillerato en ciencia de enfermería. Saldrás preparado en destreza y conocimientos para ser un buen enfermero o enfermera. Toma la decisión ya. Este es tu tiempo. Llama al 787-815-0000. Para más información, accede a upra.edu y a la enfermería. Hay gran demanda para dicha profesión. Son tiempos de crisis. Dentro de ti mismo eres libre de sentirte como quieras. Pero tu felicidad es tu elección, no la de nadie más. En caso de crisis emocional, visita el Departamento de Consejería y Servicios Psicológicos de la UPR en Arecibo. Pide ayuda, oriéntate, visítanos. No permitas que nadie opaque tu felicidad. Llámanos al 787-815-0000, extensión 3650. 
que estás confundido y aún no sabes qué estudiar, el Departamento de Ciencias de Computadoras de la Universidad de Puerto Rico en Arecibo ofrece un bachillerato en informática completamente dedicado a la programación de sistemas operativos y bases de datos. Además, cuenta con laboratorios profesionales de tecnología avanzada. Para más información, comunícate al 787-815-0000, extensión 3300. El Departamento de Ciencias de Computadoras es para ti. Welcome back to What's on the Net. As we said before, we're going to be talking about streaming platforms. And before we continue, this is Elaine Vela speaking. I have Amanda with me. Hello and welcome back. And Netflix is going to be premiering the season two of Fast and Furious Spy Racers, which is this October 9, which means this Friday it will be arriving at the platform. And this is an animated series for kids and family where a government agency recruits teen driver Tony Toretto and his thrill-seeking friends to infiltrate a criminal street racing circuit as undercover spies. The cast seems really nice. Yes. I think they're, they're a good choice. Yes, they are. They have Tyler Posey, Charlotte Chung, Jorge Diaz, and Luke Youngblood as part of it. And one film that I'm looking forward to is The Trial of the Chicago 7 that comes out this October 16th. And it is a film based on the 1969 trial of seven defendants charged by the federal government with conspiracy, inciting to riot, and other charges related to anti-Vietnam War and countercultural protests that took place in Chicago, Illinois, on the occasion of the 1968 Democratic National Convention. And in case you're wondering, the cast includes actors such as Eddie Redmayne, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Sasha Baron Cohen, Jeremy Strong, and Mark Rylance. So if you're a fan of any of them, you can expect to see them on the trial of the Chicago 7. And moving on, another film that Netflix is premiering is called Rebecca, which follows the story of a newlywed that moves to her husband's imposing estate where she must contend with his sinister housekeeper and the haunting shadow of his late wife. Oh, it has Army Hammer. Yes, the cast has Army Hammer and Lily James. They're gonna be playing the couple. And they also have Kristen Scott Thomas and Kelly Haas. So that's a very interesting film and I can't wait to see it this October 21st. Meanwhile, Hulu is going to be premiering Scream 4. I'm watching it as soon as it drops. I knew you were gonna see that. Scream movies are great. They're classics. It's October. It's needed. So you can watch that on Hulu tomorrow. And October 11 can see a film that's called Savage Youth and it follows a story where six young lives collide in the most horrific and twisted of ways and it is based on true events. That seems interesting. And on October 12, they're going to be premiering The Swing of Things. And this is a comedy film where a groom-to-be accidentally books his destination wedding and honeymoon at a swingers resort in Jamaica. And part of the cast is Olivia Culpo, Cord Overstreet, Adelaide Kane, which I love her, and Luke Wilson. So if you're looking for something to laugh with or at, that sounds really funny though. Like, yeah. How did he mess I'll up? I'll watch it. Yeah, how, how do you mess that up? We don't know. It was probably Travago. <laughs> We are gonna know this October 12. And finally, Disney Plus is adding a few things on October 16. And one of them is Lost on Everest. 
and it is a documentary that follows a team of climbers that are setting out to find Arvin and his climbing partner George Mallory and more specifically the camera that they had because if it is found it can rewrite history and that same day the episode 4 of Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom is coming out as well as Marvel's Iron Man and Captain America Heroes United and lastly Disney Plus is adding Ever After a Cinderella story and this is a film from 1998 where the brothers Grimm arrive at the home of a wealthy grandmother who speaks of many legends surrounding the fable of the Cinder Girl before telling what it is supposed to be the true story of her ancestor. I'm pretty sure I saw one. I saw that one growing up. Yeah. Like it rings a bell. It does ring a bell, but I'm kind of looking forward to it because I want to see it again to, you know, have Relive it. it. Yes. yes. Kind of like watching it for the first time since we don't remember it that yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, but don't go anywhere because after this break, we're going to be back. ¿Estás confundido y aún no sabes qué estudiar? El Departamento de Ciencias de Computadoras de la Universidad de Puerto Rico en Arecibo ofrece un bachillerato en informática completamente dedicado a la programación de sistemas operativos y bases de datos. Además, cuenta con laboratorios profesionales de tecnología avanzada. Para más información, comunícate al 787-815-0000, extensión 3300. El Departamento de Ciencias de Computadoras es para ti. Con el alcohol siempre es lo mismo. Aunque a la time y después tomar ya. Nah, déjame mejor con mi corillo. Después de todo, cada día somos más los que jangueamos sin alcohol. Ojos en el celular no son ojos para guiar. Evita una multa o un choque fatal. Al guiar, frena el celular. Mensaje de la Comisión para la Seguridad en el Tránsito. And this is what's on the net. The name is Elaine Vélez. Amanda here. And we want to thank you for listening to us this afternoon, evening. We hope you continue to do so every Monday and Wednesday from 4.30 p.m. to 5 on Upra Web Radio, and we'll see you next week. Period. Escuchas Upra Web Radio, tu estación universitaria.